Hello, 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 and welcome to part two. So, if you've seen part one, uh, you know what we're doing. If you did all see part one, I totally apologise. It was 20 minutes, we found very little cards. So, hopefully in part two we'll find much, much more. So, in part two we're going to be looking through... Oh, God, it's heavy. Looking through this. It's a... Um, it's a lunchbox, I think. It looks like a lunchbox. It's sort of like, do you know what? I had a lunchbox like this going to school... Didn't have quite, it was covered in Gen 2 Pokemon. I'll have to dig that out, one day I'll dig that out. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a little look through uh, this lunchbox here, see if we can find anything any good. Just like for a brick or something really silly. Whoa! Okay, so it's actually, it is, yeah, it is totally and utterly crammed full of cards. Okay, awesome! So we'll put that down on the floor and we'll go through it. Like I said, hopefully we'll find some good stuff. There's nothing on the top, unfortunately, but we'll, I'll pick up a pile and we'll go through it just as we went through the last lot. So, once again, guys, we are looking for, ideally, well, anything that's any good or the original stuff. So, if we see anything original, perfect. If not, something else. <laughs> Look at that. Now, that is pretty cool. I don't know how well the camera picks up, but it looks like it's knitted. A knitted Marrel. I mean, that's nice if you like knitted stuff, or indeed you like Marrel. That's uh, do you know I like that. Cause they used to make that of clay, didn't they? Oh look, another one. Hang on, look. Look at that. It's all about made out of clay. There we are. Look. So yeah, they used to make them sort of out of those, like sort of um, like plasticine almost, but you know, much better. But yeah, look, it's sort of knitted. That's interesting. And I probably spent far too long talking about that, so let's just move on. Oh, rather angry-looking Jolteon. Uh, terrifying looking snubble. Some of these, the artwork for the old ones, you know, sort of the old, like the odd ones, are really strange. Like that one. Like, I know that's old artwork, but it's a really hairy diglet. I don't know how well I can't picking it up. But yeah, really hairy. Total going for a swim. Da da da. Da 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 da. Still nothing good. Come on, I can feel it. All oh, right, you. Looking up at the clouds. Or even that, he's been knocked over. This looks like someone sort of poked him in the eye. What do you reckon? Maybe hit one least or come along and kicked him. So, what we're actually saying is that we've gone from that being quite a nice card to actually a bullying issue. Poor old Raichu being bullied there. Drapion. Da da. There we are. Um, yep, something. Chest bit. <laughs> I really need to learn the names of these. That's cute. Do you know, I always associate Deadly Bird with, um, with like sort of snow and Christmas because you know the sort of the whole Santa connotation with him. But um, no, it's nice to see him hanging out on the beach. Maybe you know what he does in his spare time. I Miss mean, Santa's got to do something in August, doesn't he? Steel energy. Well, I'm afraid, guys. So far, we've got absolutely nothing. Look at that! Literally, look. Absolutely naffle. Sorry about that. Right. Hopefully, we'll get something good. <laughs> In the next pile, but thank you for bearing with me. Let's let's have a little look at the next little lot. If I miss anything, please just feel free to point it out to me, because I'm not the brightest star in the night sky. I will say. Oh, let's just do like this. This is probably easier. Angry quillfish again. That's a is a nice little ivy sore. Although it doesn't like he just sort of done like a little, like a poo. Do you know what sort of cats do when they do poo? They sort of kick the grass over it. So there they were. Ivysaur's done the nasty. That is an angry Charmeleon. Look at that. That is that is immensely angry. I don't know why. Some of them look really cute, and then some of them just look needlessly angry. Like, you know, why? What what has made them so cross? Oh, more energies, energy, 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 energy. Energy, colourless. Oh dear. Double colourless. Oh, diff different one. That's um the old or classic star, but it's evolution, I'm afraid, so... Nothing interesting. Oh god, another pile with nothing in it. My goodness. <laughs> Do you know what? I thought part one was bad. This could be just as bad. Let's try to maybe speed this up a little bit because we've got an awful lot of cards to get through. Oh, old Pidgey there. Let's say old Pidgey. 2004 Pidgey from the um, uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red set, if I'm very much mistaken. Da, da, da. 
I know I'm going a bit quick for some, but um, apologies for that. Just trying to get something good, you know. Well, this is just me looking at loads of. Why is it? You know, it's got a 50-50 chance of cards, you know, coming either upside down or the right way up. But more often than not, they're just upside down. Honestly, it's so annoying. Nope, still nothing. <laughs> My goodness me. <laughs> oh, come on. So, what were we hoping to find? I mean, obviously we're hoping to find some sort of shinies, something, you know. I mean, the, the best ones... You know, obviously the legendaries, because back when I was a child, you know, legendaries actually were legendary, you know, and they were fairly sort of restricted to the, you know, sort of one per game. But that's that's a strange one, isn't it? It's a sandcastle with a hole in it. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, like, you know, I'm a massive fan of, like, Gen 1 and 2, you know, and I won't criticise any of them. But some of it's just a little bit weird. You know, from, like, the future stuff. That is the future stuff. <laughs> like, I must sound so, so odd. Ooh! That looks thunderous. That's something. I think. I think that's something. That's the legendary thing from Gen 5. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Oh, hang on. That's. Yes! Something! Yes! Look! Aha! It is a Rapidash from Jungle, and it would appear to be a first edition, which is awesome. I love first editions. That's the first edition song for you there, available from iTunes immediately. Go and download it. Make it your ringtone. I know I have. Right, another little pile. Thanks for sticking with me again, guys. You're doing really well. Uh, crow, that's a... Uh, that used to be something. Uh, da -da -da -da. Plasma energy. Now, I never understood these. Because, you know, like, you get these strange sort of energy cards every now and then that, you know, actually do something, you know, aside from being these really boring ones. But this, it's a colourless energy. doesn't really do anything else, you know. Oh, well, it's there. <laughs> it's better than not being there, I suppose. Oh, da -da -da -da. oh Lombre going for a nice little swim there. Da -da. Oh, dear. Oh, Oshawott, but um, a bit, bit of red. The blood, obviously, by the previous owner. This card has seen conflict. It's got a horrible story to tell. <laughs> and Oshawott's just... In fact, that face of Oshawott, yeah, sort of almost confirms it. That is... That is there, there's, <laughs> there's something happened with this card. Oh, dear. I'm glad I never found out. That is, yeah, it's a creepy slow pick. Oh, my goodness. Another incident of bullying on a Pokemon card. Look at that. Charmander has um, is taken this poor little boy's glasses and uh, oh, once again poked him in the eye. He's got another poke in the eye. I think maybe we found that culprit. It's Charmander. It goes around poking people's eyes out. He's, uh, he's known for that, you know. Ah, yes! Ain't another classic. Look at that. So we've got another jungle, and it is Oddish. Do I remember that card? I always thought, was again, why on earth is Oddish going for a stroll in the park at night? You know, that, that was just how little seven-year-old me mind worked. You know, that was how grown up and responsible I was. So I've grown up in response on life, sat here 20 years later flicking through Pokemon cards. Ah! Look! Look, 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 look! Do you know what I was talking about in part one? Uh, Electabuzz. We had the Evolutions version that was a common. And this one, look! This is the original. This is the base set, rare version. Come on, isn't it sad that I'm getting genuinely excited over this? But look! Yes! I remember this one really well. I really liked this card. I still do. It's got some electrifying elbows there, as Electabuzz is often known for. You know, whenever I pass, I go, Oh, Electabuzz, how's your electric elbow? And he says, Yeah, absolutely fine, mate. Absolutely fine. Thank you, Electabuzz. Oh, look at that. It's a reverse shiny Chansey. I, I, do you know what? I really like Chansey. I really do. In the anime, didn't have like a little Nurse Joy hat. <laughs> Used to work in the Pokemon Center. That was cute. Another warp energy, more energies, Kinger, Croconaut. All the buses here. So you don't, oh, look at that look. It's actually growing on a tree. That makes sense. That makes sense. Unlike that one, that doesn't make any sense. That looks like an executor. Look, what do you think? Oh, we found an executor. Conspiracy confirmed. Perfect. Right, so another massive pile with... Um, with we, we found a few more in that pile, I must say. So that's that's pretty good. That's better than uh, better than nothing. Upside down. Beedoof. Right, should we just... What do you reckon, statistically? If I switch the other way, they're going to be all... Right, I'm giving it a go. Let's see if they are. This works better out this way. So far, so good. Pokedex. Still nothing. Oh, no, these, these are still upside down. It's about a 50-50 chance. Aha! Yes! We found something old. 
we have found a base set to Paris. Which is nice. That's quite good. Not a first edition, but who am I to complain? See, Paris was a really creepy one, wasn't it? When it, like, evolved, it, like, the little mushrooms on its head supposed to sort of take it over and control it. Like a zombie. Oh! Zoroark! Very nice. That's a shiny. That's pretty cool. Yeah, don't know much about this Pokemon, to be honest, because, once again, Gen 5 didn't really hang around much in Gen 5. I should probably go back and visit it one day when I can be bored. Oh, my goodness, guys, there's at least three here I've seen. At least three. So we've got Reverse Hollow Nidorino from, um, uh, uh, Evolutions. Uh, generations revive, and a subsection of the uh, the generations of the Shiny Jirachi. That's nice. That's three in a row. That was pretty good. Nice little random horde. Seal, bronze or ponytail. Ah, from the uh, Leaf Green and Fire Red set there. Da, 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 da. And uh, anything else? Shansi, Nose Pass, Axe, Swiddle. Oh, look at that! Last one of this pile. A computer search from the base set series. Da, 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 da. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad little card that one. Actually, it's a rare. I think that was one of the very few cases where trainers were rare, like in the original sort of sets. I don't know why this one was a rare. Yeah, I, I wonder if you get any um, rare trainers. I don't think you could. I don't think, uh, you know, I don't think sort of uh, shiny trainers were were a thing. But no, it's nice. That's a that's a good little card. Moving swiftly on, moving back from my nostalgia. Okay, we're doing pretty well here, guys. Doing pretty well. We're going, we're going strong. So we've got a lady bar. Right, let's start minimum. Da -da -da -da. Take Pikachu. Oh, eating sweets. Look at that. It's really bad for its teeth. Really bad. I have to say that just in case you've got, you know, kids watching. Brush teeth. Oh, there it is. There's a creepy zombie. There you are, Doug Trio. So I always wondered, you know, Diglett is one, so if one of those breaks away and becomes a Diglett, what happens to the other two? Not really Doug Tree anymore, they're sort of Doug Double. There you are, Doug Double. I've got it. There you are, I've created a whole new evolution chain for that. You've got Diglett, and then you've got Doug Double. It's awesome, it's Harry Armour again with his Megaton slap push. It's honestly... And uh, electric eel with arms, because you know electric eels need arms. They often complain that they don't have enough arms. Da -da -da. Not like anything else here, I'm afraid. Oh, look at that! Oh, do you know what? Literally talking about Paris, we've got its evolved form Parasect in a base set two card, which is quite nice. Yeah, it's, it is. So the inner. Oh, look. Do you know what, I can't even stop finishing talking about this one before I moved on to the next one. We've got an, uh, an unknown from the uh, a Neo set. It's got a massive crease down it, but I don't really care. It's nice. Unknown I. Do you know, when I was a kid, I uh, found the unknown cards that spelt my name, and I put them up on my bedroom door, because I was the coolest child I knew. To be fair, I only, I only knew me. Surtikit's having a fight again. More more bullying on a Pokemon card. Someone really ought to complain about this. Meowth yeah, starving again. My God, this is... Like I said, some of these Pokemon cards are really nice, and then some of them are, are you know, quite quite bad. So we've got Shroomish clearly scared of something. Probably being poked in the eye by that Charmander. Plus I'm middle having a race. Plus I'm trying really, really hard there, but um, you know, Midim just uh, taking it casual. He's like, you know, don't worry about it. Just you know, I'll collect and spark. You just, you know, you you race on ahead behind me, and I'll uh, you know, slowest wins the race. We're getting a, a nice lot of doubles here, I'm afraid, guys. Nice lot of doubles. Oh my god, the amount of energies. To be fair, not as many as I was expecting. We're getting a nice, a nice varied. Ah, oh, Tauros. Look at that one. Not an old card, but it's uh, based on an old one, I think, from Jungle. Possibly Jungle. I don't know. That's a nice card. It's a, it's a rare now. So yeah, there you are. So some cards that used to be sort of commons or uncommons have now been upgraded to rare. So congratulations, you Tauros. Da -da, magic are all, all upside down, aren't they? Look at that, literally all upside down. I'm so sorry, guys. Ooh, that's something. There you are, we've got a base set B drill. Do you know what? They had really strange sort of patterns, didn't they? Look, you know, rather than sort of background that pictures. Sorry, background pictures? Backgrounds that sort of, you know, worked with a the picture. They're just sort of the uh, the Ken Sugimori artwork, which is quite nice. I suppose it, you know, draws right to it more, but a bit. Uh, not all sort of characterful as they uh, they are now, are they? Because so, you know, a lot of these cards sort of tell a story, don't they? Shroomish, you know, staring into the 
lake going on. Why am I so ugly? And you've got Zubat going, well, I wish you could, you know, I could even see what I look like, you know, I think on the eyes. Guessing. There's Diglett there in a field. In a, uh, end of a town. There you are, that's all the information I've got about that card. Oh dear. Right, we're doing okay, guys. We're almost halfway through the, uh, the tins. We're doing, we're doing really well, guys, doing really well. So instead of taking one from the pile, let's take one from the side of the tin this time. Let's uh, see if we can... Oh, okay! Nice, straight away we've got a, uh, a reverse Moltres, which is nice. I do love a good reverse Moltres. Oh! Gyarados! Oh, guys, okay, I think there's actually quite a lot in this pile. I reckon we've come up trumps here. Perfect, so we've got a... Uh, sorry, so we've got the reverse Hollow Moltres there. We've got a reverse Hollow Gyarados. Both of them think are rares, which is really nice. We've got a reverse Hollow Lucario. Great, we've got a, um, I don't know what that is, I'm going to be honest, I have no, it's a reverse hollow, so it's nice, it's lovely, in fact, in fact uh, would, would you guys want it? Have it if you want it. Right, tell you what, next time I see you, ask me for it and you can have it, I promise. Uh, Voltorb, nice, got a um, electric eel again. Nice, these, these are all reverses, which is really, really lovely, I think I'll probably have a better look at these, you know, next time, but no. They got all the, um, sort of the typings worked into the reverse hollows, which, you know, I think I said last time, I really quite like. You know, you've got sort of trainers, you've got Greninja, that's nice, Dojuo, that's nice. That thing, yeah, you know, we all know, you know, that thing, yeah, that one, Matang, nice, Nidorino, nice, Vitalizer, nice, Caterpie, nice, P oh! See, that's a nice Pikachu, I like that Pikachu, I approve of this Pikachu, I like it very much. Alolan Persian. See, Joy, now I've got nothing wrong with the Alolan types. However, I do think that, sort of, especially this one, because a like normal Persian has had a bit like of an allergic reaction. I think it sort of swelled up a bit. I don't know. Maybe that's what happens if they eat dog food. Cats eat dog food. I don't know. Not, don't try it. Do not try it. I'm not suggesting you try it. Don't, otherwise, otherwise I will get in trouble. Charmander. Gudra, that's a normal shiny, that's nice. Of course, we didn't have dragon types back in the day. God, starting old again, aren't we? Didn't have dragon types, no. Sort of, uh, they're a fairly new thing, I think. Uh, so we've got Scraggy, Reverse. The Dark Reverses are nice. Dojo racing a, uh, a van with another picture of Dojo on it. That must be really confusing for poor old Dojo. Imakuni. Imakuni. Let's just stop and talk about how bizarre is this card. I mean, I think... Mikumi has got something to do with, with Pokemon. I don't know what. Probably should research it. But it's just a strange card. I mean, look at him. For starters, he literally looks like, you know, some sort of rip-off of Mickey Mouse. That's probably what that says down there. You know, please don't sue me, Disney. You know, but it says, you know, your active Pokemon is now confused. So not only is it a really strange card to visually look at, sort of, you know, the Hypno-esque sort of power seem to be exuding from his hands, but it confuses you. I mean, I'm confused by looking at it. Even the card has got a question mark. Next to his name. Like, even the card isn't sure of what it is. But it's a shiny! Whoa, hey! So I assume that's a good version of it. Brilliant. I'll make sure I put that in a card sleeve. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Weavile. The evolution to sneeze will nobody asked for. Uh, we got a Zubat again. Simis. That is. That's a bit strange. That's quite lifeless eyes there. That is really weird. Uh, that one, that one, that one, a Voltorb, that one, that one, that one. Oh, so back to the normal cards, I'm afraid, guys. Back to the normal cards. Some dumbbells. Ekans. And Skidoo. Well, that was a nice little burst of, of things that we liked. So I think, guys, that's probably quite a good place to end it. Thank you very much for watching part two. We found some, some relatively good cards there. Hopefully we've got... Uh,